All right, so what's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. Today, we are going to venture into the jungle. There's a mysterious fire that occurred. It was like, it looked like some sort of like shooting star or a meteor. I don't know what it was, but there's some fire coming, obviously, from some part of the jungle. And that's exactly what we're going to investigate. Now, I'm going to try and keep it as safe as possible for my people. I'm going to call them as well. Because we are going to venture into a new part of the jungle. This is going to be super exciting. One of the, you know, favorite things of mine of this game is really the music. Like, if you really pay attention to the music in this game, it, it really does have some freaking awesome music sometimes. Especially when you're all the way up there. Um, now, I could try and investigate from here. Or I guess you can say try and like tag certain areas but i don't i don't think my abilities are that strong at the moment so i'm going to try and get a little bit closer i don't want to get too risky with this tree climbing crap because you just never know all right let me see i'm gonna go down here really fast In the last episode we, we did a decent amount of things like crafting certain recipes and mating and making new babies I want to make sure I keep things exactly the same as far as like, you know, I want to make sure everything's going smooth for us. I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want any apes to die. I got to try and play my cards right, if that makes any sense. So, I'm going to call my monkey friends. Hopefully they can hear me from there. I'm trying to practice my, uh, my tree swinging abilities. I'm going to try and uh, see if I can investigate some things from here. I think I need to get a little bit closer. Okay, I see something. I see something down here. Oh, my God. I feel like this would be a decent spot to kind of chill at. Um, as far as, like, maybe... Making a new settlement here. I don't know. Maybe not, but it does feel like this area right here is pretty safe. I know for a fact that staying down in the ground is not really good for predators. And can re really, really screw us over. I'm going to try and make this episode as uncut as possible. A lot of the times I tend to not give you everything like as far as like raw gameplay when it comes to this game. Or videos in general. Because I don't know if you guys would enjoy that. Like, I, I feel like there's things I have to cut out. If not, it'll get boring. But I also know that <clears throat> some people enjoy raw commentaries, especially for a game like this where there are so many trials and errors. You know what I mean? So you guys let me know. What, what type of uh, video styles would you like to see in this game? You want full raw? Or... Is there something else that you'd like? Should I keep cutting the gameplay? I just don't want you guys to get bored. I'm really enjoying this game. Exploring and stuff. So. We're here on the fire. We've made it. Just gotta make sure that... We don't get caught off guard by a predator. There's... <gasps> Holy crap, what the fuck is that? Where are my monkey friends? Yo, what the hell? Oh my god, what is that? Hold on, that's granite rock. It's a shelter. Yo, that's crazy. Oh my <laughs> what the hell is that? That's a pretty big snake there. Intimidate. 
Yeah, that's right, you little shit. Python. That's a giant python. I hear something. Huh. Something else over here. I just gotta be careful, man. Look at that thing. Oh, these are eggs. Oh, these are python eggs. Yo, we can boil these eggs and cook them and... <laughs> God knows what. Snake eggs. Uh... I don't want to eat it just in case. I don't need the food anyways. But I do have to be extra careful. Look at that thing. Oh, shit! Yo, yo! Whoa! <laughs> This was not a good idea. Okay, you have to be extra, extra careful. Use your senses and intelligence. A gold match your door. Well, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I am scared shitless. Okay. Okay, there's a couple of things here that I can grab. Inspect. Made a... Okay, so we made the that thing kill a giant warhog. Okay, what the hell are these things? I need to get my stick back. <gasps> Where's my stick? Didn't I have a stick? Yo, did I just drop all of my... Ammunition? All of my... My stick is down there, dude. There's a fucking crocodile there! I'm gonna go up here and then I'm gonna sharpen this stick. Just so we can have a stick. You never know if we're gonna come across one of these fucking predators. I wanna make sure I'm ready. So. Gonna take a little bit. Dude, I lost that rock of mine, which was perfect. Kind of pissed. Basalt rock. Basalt. Basalt. Whatever the hell. Kind of mad, man, because you can use that to puncture through, like, war hogs and stuff once they're dead. Um. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I have basalt. This is basalt. Let me intimidate the war hog. Knock his ass out! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, here's the warhog. There you go, baby. There you go. Where's it now? Come on, bro. What the fuck are you doing? You little shit. Oh my god. I'm trying to conquer my fears and I'm getting attacked. I refuse to get attacked. <laughs> intimidate, intimidate. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Where's this fucking baboon? Come here, you little shit. That's right. That's fucking right. I hate this place. Oh my goodness. Why have I not conquered my fears yet? All right, guys. So I have to come back to the settlement real quick because this ape is about to die on us. This ape is borderline about dead. I mean, his lifespan has drastically decreased. And it's kind of, I'm kind of glad it happened to me because now I know how it actually works. So, like, if you're bleeding and you let the blood just keep bleeding, that lifespan will decrease, and that's exactly what happened with this guy. Before I die, I just want you to know that uh, we got to make some babies. All right. So now she's my girl. I drop the kids. I'm going to call my mate. And we're going to mate because we got to keep going. We got we to keep the... Uh, you got to keep the reproduction occurring. If not, the game pretty much ends. If you become a clan that literally has no fertile females, then you eventually just die because there's no reproduction. If you don't reproduce, everybody gets older, everybody dies, and there's no younger apes to grow up and whatnot. Although my ape had uh, a low life spam left, I, I don't know what's going to happen now since 15 months go by every time you give birth. I don't know if he's going to die. He's the first ape that I've been using since the beginning of the game, since I first started my first episode. So I'm kind of concerned about my boy, but I think he will die. So before he dies, I I want to I want to bring some new kids into the uh, into the clan because this is what's going to be our future. Piggyback these babies. And then I will go to the next male. It's going to be this one. He's got a perfect life. And I will go ahead and carry these. Can you come with? Yes, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to go to the family tree. I mean, the evolution tree. Or ne neurons, I guess you can say. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do some things here. So, assign your energy to initiate how motor skills improve. All right, let's see what this is. Got to get our apes a little bit smarter. So reactions to escape and counterattacks are faster. Hold A to prime dodging or counterattack. Move just direction, release at the time to dodge counterattack or perform counterattack. All right. What is this? The ability to detect more distant elements using the senses is required. Standing up upright. I will to walk a few meters is acquired. Oh, snap. That's dope. Look at all the ones. I like how when you unlock some of them, then you get other ones, you know? The ability to carry an item using both hands is acquired. Old near, uh, it'll be near a heavy or big item to carry it using both hands. What? That's amazing. Self-empowerment. While following your clan members are able to automatically mimic and intimidate. Nice. It is not possible to ask from distance for some clan members to come closer and follow. Press extra senses, then through the senses of hearing, hold B and release B to have visible clan members follow you. Pretty cool. Memory. The range for detection of non-edible resources increased. You got a bunch of little kids too, which is great. Or little apes. <laughs> So now that we have this, what the hell? <laughs> New tool discovery, thorn bush. What the hell does this do? Okay, so how do we drop it? Then what? 
Okay, I guess we can just pick them up and... Dude, this is so cool. And then you just place them wherever you don't want the predators to go to, I would assume. I don't know. Yeah, that's right, guys. Watch and learn. Yes. Add to pile. So what happens if I add a bunch of them to the pile? Let me see. Start construction. What does that do? A thorn bush wall. Oh, that's so fucking sick. Building. Various constructions improve the settlement. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, now I can pick up... Can I lift up a rock, though? Or is it too heavy yet? Let me see. Maybe if I... Maybe if I get a couple of these... I thought it was by holding uh by holding LB that I could I could hold multiple things. I'm not too sure how that how that works right now, but at least we figured out that now we can we can move these thorns and make them into thorn walls. <laughs> Alright, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm gonna go and work on my neurons and then we're gonna go back over there and see if there's anything else that we can do before we end this episode. I'm a little bit bummed out at the fact that I freaking nearly died. Um, evolution. Let me see. Interesting. Proprioception. Let's see what we unlock with this one. We're unlocking things. We're making progress, you know? Which is good. A great distance can be traveled while moving in two legs. Oh my god. Nice. Let's see. Can we pick anything up here? I do want to see that neuron. No way, dude. Dude, that's amazing. Stand up. <laughs> oh, God, that's awesome. All right, we're back in the same place we were last time. We go. Wildlife discovery. A green mamba. I already discovered that. What the hell? Come here, you little shit. That's right, baby. That's fucking right. That's right. Kill it. <gasps> Kill the giant warhog. That's fucking right. We're gonna inspect it. <laughs> Killing fucking animals is the shit. Not really, but in this game. 
Wait, now, can we pick that up? We do have our stick, right? Thing is, where's our stick? Do you lose your stick once you stab him? Well, we're gonna need... See, now's when we need a... Uh... I'm gonna remember this Warhog right here. Hold on. Granite rock. Intelligence. And granite rock. I need a... Fuck, I need... I need a, a basalt rock in order to pour through this crap. Okay, hold on. I know I said we we're going to go into unknown territory, but we just made a really, really big leap here. We just killed our first animal, and I am extremely happy. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Come on, man. Jesus. All right, there's a couple of predators here, and we have nothing. It's a dead bush. Did I just fucking... Did I just do that against a fucking alligator? Dude. Oh. That was sick. That was sick. There's a warhog there. All right, we got this. We got this. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta be extra careful. Oh, shit! Oh my god! There's way too many predators here, dude. Fuck. Oh no, oh no. I think that I still don't know how to... I still don't know how to conquer my fears. That's what my issue is. Uh-uh, buddy. You are not gonna fuck with me. You're huge. Nope. Yeah, see, I don't know how to conquer my fears, bro. So I think I'm going to go back to my settlement and I'm going to call it a day for today's episode. I'm kind of bummed out because I really, I mean, I'm not because I actually went against predators. I killed a predator. I freaking went against an alligator, a crocodile, what, whatever the hell that was. I went against a saber tooth or whatever tiger that is. <laughs> um, it was overall a successful day, but I wanted to pretty much go more into the jungle. But unfortunately, I need to figure out how I can conquer my fears in order to do that so that's exactly what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna do some research or you guys can just let me know in the comments give me some advice if you have any uh maybe that'll help me we also learned a couple of new abilities through neurons like now we can carry those like uh thorn bushes or whatever which is great and uh after this i'm gonna take a quick nap and then i'm gonna go to my neurons see if we learned anything new based on what we've learned the success rate of using a tool successfully is increased. Preparation speed for a counterattack is increased. Hold. Okay, so now pretty much means that we can 
we have more time to be able to do attacks. Clan members have the ability to defend themselves during an attack, provide, provided they have an effective weapon in hand. Wow, so now I can just literally have everybody have sticks. I don't know why this one does not do anything. Huh. That's weird. If you guys can help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. There's a couple of things I need help with here in this episode. I thought this was going to be the episode where we ventured off, but now I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, maybe I can even take one of them with me and just give them a stick and we can kind of, you know, gang up on some certain individual predators or whatnot, but it should be interesting. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did enjoy the episode and you want more Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, be sure to leave this episode a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.